Huh? A part-time job? What kind of poor family are you from? Like this, my mother-in-law Dolores laughed and disrespected my mother by saying such horrible things. I can't ever forgive Dolores for saying such things. How dare she insult my precious, loving mother? I will definitely make Dolores fully regret what she said about my mother and even making fun of my mother. My name is Maisie. I am 30 years old and I work in a company. I have been married to my husband, Kyle, for two years now. We first met due to work. My husband is a very honest and diligent worker and I relied on him a great deal when we had to work together. As we worked together, I became more and more attracted to him and we grew much closer through our work. We started seeing each other privately and officially began to go out. He planned many wonderful dates for me and took me to many places. I was happy that he took the time to do so much research and planning wonderful dates and I grew to like him more and more. Then, two years into our relationship, he proposed to me and we decided to get married. I was so happy that he, whom I loved so much, asked me to marry him. After we married, we started living together and my husband was very kind and supportive and did his share of the house chores with me. And because of this, it allowed me to concentrate on my work. My husband also cooks whenever he has the time, which is really helpful. My husband and I both work, so thanks to this, we have a very stable lifestyle. And we have a lot of fun while traveling around on our days off. Even after two years of marriage, we are still very much in love, and we are both really happy. But of course, there are some problems, even though it has nothing to do with my husband. For me, the issue I have is my mother-in-law, Dolores. Unfortunately, Dolores does not seem to like me and she has been picking on me every time I see her since the beginning of my marriage to Kyle. Oh, Maisie, when are you going to quit your job? Huh? I have no intention to quit my job. And why is that? Normally, a wife should become a full-time housewife just to support her husband. Oh, please! Don't tell me that you make Kyle do some of the house chores. What? Well, we both work, so of course. We share the house chores. I cannot believe this. I would never allow such a thing. Dolores shouted from the top of her lungs as she said that. In a panic, my husband flew in and said, Mom, what's going on? And came into our conversation. And after understanding what had happened, he says to Dolores, I was the one who agreed to the idea of sharing the house chores with Maisie. Please, don't butt into our marriage, Mom. And from then on, Dolores stopped talking. But after that, Dolores became even more harsh and strict to me. I knew that people who skip house chores are not very good at it. You're definitely bothering Kyle by cooking terrible meals, aren't you? Do you even put poison into the meals that you cook or what? Whenever I visit my in-laws for Thanksgivings or New Year's and help Dolores with the cooking, 
She always insults me in the kitchen like that. I thought it was really annoying, but I also thought it was better to show up at family gatherings, so I listened patiently to Dolores' sarcastic comments. Dolores, a coward that she is, would abuse me at times when Kyle and my father-in-law, Don, were not around. I am sure that after my husband had warned her before, she decided it was not a good idea to criticize me in front of him. I tried to ignore everything she was saying, but the harassment from Dolores was slowly taking a toll on my mind. Recently, my husband and I brought souvenirs from our trip to my parents-in-law's house, and Dolores would say something that made me very angry. Don had just gone out and was not home at the time, and my husband had gone to the bathroom. Dolores took advantage of this and began to abuse me verbally, as usual. You really are a useless wife. Didn't your mother ever teach you how to do any house chores? My mother taught me how to do house chores while she worked, you know. When I said this, being annoyed at what Dolores had said, she grinned and began to say this to me. So, your mother wasn't a housewife, huh? That explains why you do your house chores really terribly. By the way, what does your mother do for a living? I was getting angry, but tried to answer Dolores' question anyway. My mother has been working her part-time job. When I was about to continue on with my explanation, Dolores opened her eyes and shouted loudly. Huh? A part-time job? What kind of poor family are you from? Excuse me? I didn't think that you were so poor that your mother had to do that. I wonder if she earns a few bucks every day by doing some small, tedious tasks like buttoning eyes onto a doll or something. Well, it's actually probably fitting that she's your mother. Well, it sucks to have a poor family like yours. <laughs> like this, Dolores laughed at my family and my mother and looked down on her. I couldn't forgive Dolores for insulting my precious mother. And it was then that I came up with a plan. I would definitely make Dolores regret for what she said about my mother and for making fun of my family. A month later, there was a family reunion and everyone gathered at my parents-in-law's house. This time, everyone gathered to celebrate my father-in-law's sister, Linda's birthday. Since Don had inherited their house from my late grandfather-in-law, it was easier for everyone to gather at Don and Dolores' house than at Linda's house, so it had become the place for all the relatives to gather. I had heard that Dolores truly respected and admired Linda very much. I wanted to take advantage of that and make Dolores feel embarrassed. Maisie, my husband's sister is here today, so please behave and don't be rude. Yes, I understand. Dolores was more enthusiastic than usual and took the initiative in preparing for Linda's birthday party. And because of this, Dolores was too busy to even bully me like she would normally. It was most likely that Dolores was more interested in making sure Linda's birthday was celebrated by many people. Then the preparations were over, and Linda and her husband and all the relatives came over to Don and Dolores' house. Oh, Linda, happy birthday. This is your birthday present. Here you go. 
Oh my, what a wonderful bag! Thank you, Dolores. Dolores looked really happy to be thanked by Linda like that. What Dolores gave Linda as her present was a luxurious brand bag. I greeted Linda after Dolores greeted her. A long time no see, Linda. I'm Maisie, Kyle's wife. Oh my, long time no see, dear. How have you been? I've been well, and every day living with Kyle has been fun. Thank you. Happy birthday, Linda. If you'd like, please accept this birthday present from me. As I said this, I gave Linda my present, which I prepared for her. It was a leather card case. Seeing this, Dolores interrupted our conversation and began to panic. Oh, Maisie, what kind of present are you giving to Linda? Excuse me? It's rude to give such a no-brand cheap thing as a present to Linda. You better hurry up and put it away now. Dolores raised her voice like that, which took me by surprise. Hey, what are you talking about, Mom? It's too much to talk like that about something that Maisie went to the trouble of preparing. Kyle, please just shut up for today. It's Linda's birthday, so you have to give her something more appropriate. Like that, Dolores' selfish outbursts did not stop. Then, Linda began to say something that made Dolores shut her mouth. Dolores, please shut your mouth. Huh? Saying that, Linda is taking a good look at the leather card case I gave her. This is very nice and a really good quality. Has a leather good spire for many years, I have seen many other products, including brand name products, but this one is so carefully made and the design is so beautiful and exquisite. Who made this, Maisie? That person must be a very skilled craftsperson. I gave a huge grin, since I knew that this was going along with my whole plan. And then I proudly said this in front of Dolores and everyone else. This piece was made by my mother. Oh my, your mother? That is just amazing! Thank you so much. I'm sure that my mother would be very happy knowing that you're happy with it. Will you tell me your mother's name? My mother's name is Alberta Shaw. What? Could it be that your mother is that famous leather craftswoman, Mrs. Shaw? Yes, that's right. Linda looked at me all surprised as her eyes widened. I never thought I'd be able to get a piece from Mrs. Shaw. And I never would have guessed that my nephew's wife is her daughter. Wow, what a tremendous connection. Thank you so much. I will take very good care of this card case. Oh, no, no. I'm just really glad that you are happy with it. Dolores watched the conversation between Linda and I, and gradually her face was turning pale. Then, Linda shifted her eyes to Dolores. Dolores, what were you doing earlier on? Huh? You were quite rude to Maisie, weren't you? Oh, uh, no. Maisie, does Dolores always behave like this towards you? Since Linda had asked me that question, I nodded strongly as I answered. It seems that Dolores here does not like me at all, and she always picks on me, her own daughter-in-law and lashes out at me in a terrible manner. What's more, she has also insulted my mother and my family by calling her poor. When I said this, all my relatives looked at Dolores really coldly. 
Oh, Dolores, what a trivial thing you are doing, bullying your own daughter-in-law. Oh, uh, n no, that's all a misunderstanding. I don't bully or pick on Maisie. Well, I know you're lying. You look really awkward and you have shifty eyes. I can easily imagine it from your attitude you just had towards Maisie just now. And I'm just really disappointed to hear that you're actually doing terrible things. I wouldn't be happy at all to receive a present from someone like that. So I'll just give this back to you. Saying this, Linda returned her present, which she received from Dolores earlier on. And seeing how everything had happened like this, Dolores was really disappointed at the situation and at how Linda, whom Dolores had really respected, has rejected her present. And both Don and Kyle were outraged when they learned that Dolores was bullying me. Hey, what's the meaning of this, Dolores? Oh, Mom, come on. Please, give me a break. Didn't you learn your lesson the last time I warned you? Dolores was blamed by everyone around her all at once, and she left the party quickly as if to escape from the situation. After that, my mind was in peace since Dolores left and Linda's birthday party went on and we all had a great time. Later, when Dolores came back home, she was supposedly scolded by Dawn. My father-in-law then told me, If you ever get picked or bullied by Dolores again, I have already told her that I would divorce her if it happens again the next time. So don't hesitate and report to me, okay? My husband also said, The next time it happens, please make sure to tell me, honey. And after that, Dolores came to me and said, I'm really sorry for being so horrible to you all this time. She also apologized for insulting my mother. I still haven't forgiven Dolores about what she said and what she did, but since Don and Kyle are both on my side and that Don would divorce her if she ever bullies me again, well I'll never know if she might bully me secretly like she did. I'm just going to let things play out for now and how Dolores would act. And now I will continue to live happily with my husband, getting along with him as I do normally. I think Dolores has dug her own grave in front of someone she respects as a result of bullying Maisie. And as a result, Linda rejected Dolores and I felt better that Dolores got what she deserved. I'm also glad that Maisie had Dawn and Kyle on her side. I hope Maisie and her husband continue to get along and live happily ever after. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video.